Okay, so in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at some uh, parameter naming conventions that you'll find in Rails, okay? So what I have here on the screen is a simple Rails app that I spun up real quick. It has one model in it, a user model, and a user has a name attribute and an email attribute, okay? Now, this is the form for creating a new user. And if we inspect this form, uh, we'll see some things that we're familiar with here, okay? So form, here's the action, okay? This is where the URL that this form is going to uh, submit to, and it's going to do so via the HTTP post method. Now, again, notice, uh, if you remember from a previous video where I mentioned uh, hidden fields, and you'll see them in Rails, uh, this is one example right here. Okay, so this is a field for an authenticity token But what I want to focus on really is on these inputs here Okay, now if we look at the name here the structure of this name value here looks different than what we've uh, done in our form Okay, so there's this user uh, sort of top level value and then this name uh, That's inside these square brackets here now Let's pop over to the rails guides and let's learn a little bit more about this naming convention So we're just gonna get started here by looking at this section together uh, Just so that you're aware of it as you start to move into uh, Rails and you start to make more uh, Forms based off of models and then more complex forms like when you start getting into dealing with uh, Forms that accept nested attributes for other models and such so that it'll make more sense when you start looking at the structure of the form Okay, so let's let's go through this together So values from forms can be at the top level of the params hash or nested in another hash Okay, now the params hash is what's going to be um, What you'll have access to in your controllers and rails when the form is submitted all that data will be wrapped up in a params object uh, uh, the params hash here and then you can access that data from that params object but that data can also be hashes or arrays uh, nested within those uh, top level um, parameters so reading on here so they use a person model in their example so uh, standard create action for a person model we're using a user in ours but as they say params person would usually be a hash of all the attributes to create a person so in our example we would have params user and then params as they say here can also contain arrays arrays of hashes and so on uh, but this is something that HTML forms don't know about um, structured data, okay? This is something that Rails is using in order to get some structured data into the app, okay? So if we're looking at this basic structure, this is uh, pretty much what we have over on our page. If we pop back over here and look at this input here, so input type text, name, user, and then name ID is user underscore name. Okay, there again, there's this person, so you can replace that. And then if we were to submit this, uh, again, we would access the... Uh, top level params uh, colon user in our case, but at the top level if we were just looking at params ours would be a hash and the first key would be user Okay, and then that would point to a hash of in our case It would be name and then whatever the user supplied and then there would be an, another key inside this hash for email so email and then it would point to the value of whatever the user entered in that email field here back on our form over here Okay, and then you could access if you wanted to get the email for a user in our case Inside your rails controller you could do params user again in our, our case and then email is what you would uh, enter into this uh, Second set of brackets here to retrieve that value and then this section uh, down here after that uh, goes into a more uh, complex example where you can then nest a hash within that uh, sort of uh, second level key okay as you see right here the name uh, value uh, that they supplied here it has this additional set of square brackets with city on it okay so the resulting um, params object would look like this okay so instead of just having person that points to an address with a value the value of the address actually then points to another hash with a key of city and then a value there okay so then in here you could also have maybe state that points to the state uh, postal code so forth so all that stuff would be nested inside this hash here and then in this example they just have an empty uh, set of brackets here which in turn uh, results in an array okay so you would still have uh, this overall hash okay and then person will get you to the first uh, hash here which would then have a phone number key and that phone number key would point to an array of many phone numbers that the user entered and then in this example here we'll stop after this example because this one starts to get uh, complex here but essentially this structure here will create an array of hashes, okay? So uh, if you were to access the params hash and go into person, then addresses, that would point to an array, and that array would contain uh, hashes. Each hash would have the keys of line one, line two, and city inside of it. So I don't want to dig uh, any further into this, and we'll see plenty of form examples as we move through the rest of the learning path section here. 
Uh, but I wanted to introduce this to you now since we're touching on forms uh, and regular HTML, and you'll be using forms a lot in uh, Rails so that we can start to build upon the, the knowledge that we have now uh, and prepare for the future when we start working with more complex forms.